Hello, viewers. I have an interesting episode here today. I traveled all the way to Columbus, Ohio, and it was in the hotel I'm staying, one of the hosting hotels. I met this wonderful young lady, and we struck some discussions when she saw me recording an episode in our hotel. And they were discussed, and she had some interesting perspective about God. And I want her to share this perspective because we have some interesting discussion to have. So tell us your name. My name is Alyssa. What do you do for a living? I'm an STNA. I take care of the elderly. I um, wipe them clean when they need it. I bathe them when they need it. I I don't pass meds or anything. I'm not a nurse, but I take care of them in Fantastic. all aspects. Fantastic. So what do you believe in? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, you believe in nothing? Nothing, nothing. Is it possible for a human being to believe in nothing? Yeah. Okay. I want to take you to another dimension. The number of things happen to you that you have no control over. For example, you do not choose to be a woman or a man. Oh, I choose to be a woman. Like, I believe in woman and man. Like, I believe in that, but I... But, but... Religion-wise, I don't believe in anything. You don't believe in religious life. But when you are coming to this world, yeah. you do not have a choice as to whether you be a man or a woman. Yeah. Oh. You do not choose your parents. Yeah, you I believe in, I believe in that. You do not choose your parents. You do not choose whether you're going to be white or black or yeah. green or pink yeah. or yellow. You do not choose the day you are born. Yeah, no, I believe in that. I do not even cannot choose the day you are going to die. So this tells me that there appears to be certain forces that control your life and my life. Okay. What name do you give that force? What name do I give that force? Yes. Uh, what higher you, power. Fantastic. You are so brilliant. Higher power. There's a higher power. Yeah, this higher power, there is called many names by different people. Yeah, many okay. people. Many people. We Christians say it's God. No. And I, I'm talking about we Christians. Muslims call him Allah. Yeah. And Buddhists. Other religions have a specific name yeah. for him. So who's so to say? Name, what name do you give your own higher power? My higher power is. Oh Lord, I've never given a name. Your higher power has to have a name. You that is your power, you have a name. Don't you have a name? You just tell us your name. You tell us your name. What's your name? You have a name. So your higher power. Has to have a name. You like to give it a name now? Faith? I don't know. I'm just Faith. Faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, there are many things that are happening here which is very interesting. You talk about higher power. You talk about faith. Mm -hmm. All right? We are getting there. Yeah. So if you know about higher power, I know about faith. Do you think you now have knowledge about all things and everything created and not created? No. Good. I ask you a question now. When you die okay. at the old age, where do you think you are going or what's going to happen to you? Uh, I don't like this answer. Uh, I honestly believe in um, ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in. Uh, so, are you telling me that when you die, you are going to become a ghost? Unless you have unfinished business, and I have a lot of unfinished business, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a ghost. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. I don't. I, What's if, a ghost? if you don't have unfinished business, I don't know where you go. Look, have you seen a dead body before? Like, say there's someone dead right here. Yeah, I've okay. seen a dead body before. Yeah. 
No, I've never. I have seen that body. I've had to look the look oh, spirits I, I, out. I, I can tell you that I have seen a dead body before. Me too. And a dead body is a dead body. Mm -hmm. He has finished his mission. Mm -hmm. Beyond what I believe, what in my line of work, everyone says, "Open the window and let the spirit out." That's not what I believe. That's, I just, but I do it because. But the spirit. Being a The spirit. What we call the spirit. Have you ever had a dream before in your sleep? I have sleep paralysis. <laughs> so you're talking to the wrong gal. I see demons all the time. <laughs> okay. They hold me down. And they're like, they point at me and hold me down. I have sleep paralysis really bad. Okay. Do you think. There are situations where you need my help in your life. Some help. Is there situations where I can help in no. my life? Situations where you think you can do some help. I think I can do some help. There are situations like that. No. <laughs> Every man has a situation where he or she he needs a help. That would be spiritual. Yeah. yeah. Every spirit I've seen has scared me. No, I want to let you know something. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's my shoulders. There is every spiritual help that you can get, and it's inside of you. We are Christians. Okay. We trust and we believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. I've been to Israel several times. I walked the places where Jesus Christ walked. And I can tell you that he is authentic. He's genuine. Can I be completely honest with you? Here we go. This is for the viewers. Yes. Um, I think religion is a cult. You think the joint is a cult? Yeah. I grew up in a very Christian household. They, my mom took me to church every day. Okay. And it was just like I would listen. I would listen to the preacher, and I was like, "This is a cult. This is a cult. Why? Why are we listening to a book that was made by a man thousands of years ago?" This, it's very cold to me. Guys, what? When you say some people have made religion to be cult, I'm not talking to you about religion now. Okay. I'm talking to you about relationship. Relationship. Yes. Okay. That's a difference between religion and relationship. Okay. Look at what happens just. This man, I've never met you before. Never seen him before. Faith. But here we are talking as if we grew up together. We are able to establish relationship. Relationship makes things happen between human beings. You call it faith. Well, you can call it anything you want, but the thing I'm talking about is relationship. Okay. Look at what is happening to you and I. We are talking, we are discussing, we are open minded because of relations. And we're not going to argue or anything. We're, we're being completely honest with each other. Listen to me, please. You talk about a higher power. Yes. If you have a relationship with that higher power, will you not help you? Yes, of course. Yes. It will help you. So when we teach certain things, from books of religion, so to say, we learn some things. It doesn't matter whether that book was written thousands years ago. It doesn't matter whether that, that book was written by people who are inspired. Every book you read when you were in school, um, right? you went to school. I went to school. You went to school. Yeah, I went to school. And you read some books in school? And I graduated from G. You know, listen, listen, yeah. listen. Okay. The books you read when you were in school, you believed in what was to in the books. 
And that's how you are informed. This is why you are intelligent now. Because those books you read incorporated some things in you, and those things are helping me. Okay. So my 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 advice <laughs> my advice to you is simple. Let us trust on that higher power you are talking about. Because that power is higher than us. We are able to gain higher strength. And that's important. And this the difference between me and many other people is that because of frailty, because man is in me, many of us need to, to identify a particular force. That's the body. Yeah. It's a particular force that we are sure that the greatest book on the earth has testified about him over the years. Mm -hmm. And that force, as far as I'm concerned, is called Jesus Christ. The book you are talking about speaks about him as the word that became life. Spoke about him as somebody who came down from heaven, who was nailed on the cross, who took our sins away, who promised us, who promised us that he has gone back to heaven to get a place to it. Nailed to the cross. I know the whole right. So I want us to conclude this discussion tonight by me thanking you for being a nice. I would. I just. I didn't like call you out on your stuff. You didn't call me out on my stuff. We, we talked about it. It's God. That is the other force you are talking about. So I want to thank you for that. Amen. And I want to also encourage you at all times to seek the face of God at first. He will appear to you. He will live you for you. He will bless you. To look at you. And you will always remember this conversation. This dialogue forever. I will. Okay. I always will. Can we just pray tonight? Can we pray together? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank I'm gonna... you for this young lady. Thank you. Once the message has been spoken, I trust that the Holy Spirit will expand everything in our heart. Thank you, Lord, for praying with thank you with Jesus. And you say amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.